let's see how can we solve this problem of uh, this intermediate op-amp this embedded op-amp in, into the intermediate stage because this is our intermediate stage let's see how to solve it somehow as I said we have two problems one and two but the only solution is actually to keep the concept I mean the fact that we we want to force a certain current into here this is the master master current we want to force it here but let's do let's use the, the same concept but with a different implementation and for this um, what we could do we could have exactly the same structure I mean um, the NMOS this is the cascode from the intermediate stage and then on the bottom side we have the cascode for the NMOSes and here in between these two points we connected the floating current source let's do the same thing but this time let's implement it in a different way so we said we want to have another NMOS with the current source we want to mirror this current to what to something here but why do we need to have to add another NMOS why not use this one so instead of adding another transistor here like we did before let's not add another one but let's use one of the transistor that is already there so in this case we have to connect the gates together and now we have to place the op pump we said we want to have these two points of course now we cannot connect the output of the op pump here because this is a cascode it's coming from a different structure let's connect it to something that is able to change the voltage and the only option that we have is actually to connect it like that with output to this point and this point so what do we have now we have exactly the same structure like before this is the cascode oh sorry this one cannot be here my mistake Of course now we cannot connect this one here because the op pump is regulating this net the functionality is exactly the same this one is the m1 and this is the m2 we have the same drain voltage because is the supply minus one vgs of the pmos all these transistors from the top side are pmoses the um, M1 and M2 is also part of the cascode. The current source is here at the bottom side. And with the pump we regulate the gate of the NMOS is that, that is here at the bottom. So whatever current is here, we will also replicate it into the M2. And M2 since it's series with all of them you'll have exactly the same current of course if the sizes are the same now um, let's see how can we build this op pump and let's investigate if we really have problems like it was before let's see now the real implementation of this intermediate op pump this op pump uh, in order to build it we it's easier to make the drawing again so I'll try to, to make it here quickly so um, and now we have this one of course this one is here this one buff okay 
and the current source. So here we can have the biasing current, which is part of a mirror. Now the part the mirror is having already a cascode. I mean this M1 transistor is the cascode basically. We connect the pump here. Since the input is lower and the um, output is even lower, we could use a PMOS input pair. So this is the differential pair. Here we need a current source. A simple current source because this one goes directly to the supply. Then we can have here a simple output stage and this one, since this is the output of this pump, see, one input, one input and one output, this one goes directly to this net. What do we, what do we obtain here? The same structure, the same, this current is replicated into this branch, but let's look carefully at the implementation of the soap pump. Let's see if there are problems. We have here one VGS into this net, here we have another VGS, ideally if everything is uh, equal size, equal current density, you'll have exactly the same voltage here and here. then the voltage on the input of this op amp can be actually any voltage. Let's say that here we have uh, one VGS, here is one VDS, can be for example one, I don't know, 200 millivolts let's say, this is uh, 500 millivolts, which is fine, the PMOS can work in this condition. Here at this point, we have 200 plus the VGS of a PMOS. Let's consider that is, uh, if this one is 500, let's say this one is 600. So we have 200 plus 600, 800 millivolts. So we have the input pair with 800 on the source, 200 on the gate and 500 on the, on the drain. So we have 300 source to drain, which is perfectly fine. So the input pair doesn't have a problem. The output mirror also doesn't have a problem because it's, we have one VGS here. VGS, if we have the same current density, we'll have exactly the same voltage like here. So 500 millivolts in this example. So actually there is no problem. We don't have a problem with the PMOS transistors. Also no problem with the NMOS transistors. So this structure is much better than the previous one. Although it's using the same concept and also has the advantage that we don't introduce another transistor here. So we'll have just one VGS, no transistor, and then the cascode and directly the NMOS that is here. So we have less components, works much better, and is also quite easy to implement. But now we have, of course, another current source. So this is the master current source. And we have another one. This is um, current source one and this is current source two. This is the big one that is, that is uh, controlling the current into these two branches. While the, this one is just for the pump. It can be the same or different, doesn't really matter. So this is a way to easily create a floating current source for a folded cascode. As you see in this case per se is not really a floating because we regulate here at the bottom side, but the effect is the same. We force, we control the current into this branch, into these two branches because they are equal, with the current on an auxiliary branch. Of course, on top of that, we have the normal uh, um, 
the normal connections that are uh, for the um, for the main uh, op amp. So you'll have one input pair connected here and here in these two points. Another input pair connected here and here. No problem. There is no problem if you have another op amp connected into this one, into this point. As you see, this point is not consuming current. It's just the gate. This gate is not consuming current, so there's no problem connected there. Also, the impedance is quite low because uh, since uh, this is the CAS code, this is VCAS N, the impedance is quite low, so this op pump doesn't have a problem with the stability. Here is also low impedance, low impedance. You will have the only high impedance point is actually this one. In case there is a problem with the stability, you can place here a capacitor versus ground in this case. And um, yeah, this is the, I think the best way and also very easy way to, to implement um, and, and to control, basically, to, to control the current into the um, folded cascode.